liberal tears gun oil because America. Hey guys, Stag with Wolf and Stag Wastelanders. So yesterday I kind of did a lore video touching on uh, a little bit about the mythology behind the Wastelanders and uh, how it was created by Wolfen with a little bit of input from myself. What I want to talk to you today is becoming a Wastelander or how someone can become a Wastelander. Now, in most cases becoming a Wastelander is a choice but in a lot of ways it's not. And I'm going to touch on that. So what I, what I mean by in a, in a way it's not is you're put into a very hostile situation so to speak. Um, maybe you're caught in the current calamities that are going on or a war breaks out or something and you're you're stuck having to uh, survive with as little as you can or with just what you have on your back and what you have in your hands. And that's what it means to be a wastelander. It means to go out and be able to survive and maybe group up, you know, and form a community of like-minded individuals. So, if you're, find, if you're finding it hard to understand what, what I'm getting at, um, think of it like this. There, there are a lot of out there, a lot of people out there called the prepper community here in the states. Um, they prepare for cataclysms. I, I, you could kind of put us into that category as well, but we're not really preppers. I mean, we are, but we aren't. We're more on, um, we live and survive with what we have. We don't go out and buy tens of thousands of dollars worth of extra equipment, extra food. We have what we have, because you're not, in a, in a real situation like that, and this will be a good example, in a real situation like that, you're not going to be able to grab all those supplies and take them with you. And I know a lot of guys in the prepper community and the prepper world talk about that, that they'll be able, you know, they'll, they'll have this cache over here, or this group of supplies over here, or this designated area here, or this bug out location out here. The problem with that is that's, that's not really a realistic scenario because you have to think about all the, the situations. So your, your bug out location may be clear out here in something like this, but all the, way, all the avenues to get to your bug out location, unless you're on foot, are cut off. It's not a realistic scenario. Then there's also the side of it of preppers that say that they're going to be bugging in. Well, once again, in a situation like that, that wouldn't be a very optimal position, and it wouldn't be a very intelligent position in my book, because you're making yourself vulnerable. Yes, you could fortify your location. Yes, you could fortify your house and do all that type of stuff. But in the end, you're going to eventually going to have to you're eventually going to have to go out and leave. You're going to have to go out and get more supplies. You're going to have to to do things that uh, that are necessary to keep everyone within your current situation alive and around and well and healthy. And then you, there's also the fact that you don't sometimes account for, you know, extra different medical supplies. People account for all the basic medical supplies. They don't account for other things that may come up. And so to be a wastelander, it means that you have the necessary skills to survive out here. You would know the different medicinal plants that are around you. Um, you would know the various different terrains, where to get food if you needed to, how to get water and food. Um, if you're in the situation where you had to leave, you had absolutely no choice and you had to leave, you would be out here. You would have to build a shelter. You would have to build um, a place for you and your family and your group to be secure. And that's what we look at as wastelanders because, again, anyone can become a wastelander. If, if all the current stuff going on hasn't taught us enough, you can be a wastelander in your own city. If you look at the many of the cities right now that have been destroyed and burned, they look like wastelands. They're post-apocalyptic nightmares where everything's been destroyed because of rioting and looting. And that's a subject I'll talk about in another video, but uh, for the most part, those cities are, are wastelands. They're not any more different than out here. They're not any more different than where I'm at. 
They're not any more different than the desert. They're not any more different than anywhere. Sure, they might have power and they might have water and sanitation, but the truth of it is, they're not very uh, they're, they're not very habitable. And I know, and I feel sorry for the people that are still there that have no means to get out. But you have to look at that. You have to look at your options and be able to uh, make preparations to get out if you're in that situation. If your city becomes to the point that you're not going to be able to defend it anymore, you have to plan on getting out. And that's where having the necessary skills to survive in places like this, as you see around me, and places on the other side of this valley where it's dry, arid, and open, and there's no shelter, and there's no place to really hide. It would be difficult for you to do it if you didn't have the necessary sets of skills. That's why I encourage everyone that comes to the Wastelanders to uh, look into those sets of skills, look into the survival skills, look into, you know, learning the different medical techniques, learning, um, learning basic shooting techniques, learning how to hunt, how to prepare your own food, how to uh, find your food, and basically get those skills and gather those skills up. In a real world situation where it's a grid down, post apocalyptic, everything's burning, people are trying to go and scatter and survive, and some people are trying to stay in, you have to make that determination if, if I better serve staying here and staying put, or am I better served getting out? And so that's part of the Wastelander philosophy is getting out and um, getting away from the situation as it gets worse you have to be able to do stuff like that you have to be able to have the skills the necessary skills the, know your tools you know, know what you're doing know how to use your tools um, and that's that's the gist of it that's that's what we mean when we say anyone can become a wastelander it doesn't matter your creed color religion or your social status you could become a wastelander tomorrow something could collapse something bad could happen and you could become a wastelander and so I hope this clears up what it means to be a wastelander um, guys again all of our social media will be linked below in the description as well in the as well as in the first pin comment we're also over on BitChute and rumble now this video will be copied over to BitChute and rumble and I hope to uh, not have to see you guys out here in the wasteland but if I do, I want you guys to know that I will be there with you, and I will be walking with you through the wasteland. This has been Stag with Wolf and Stag Wastelanders. I'll see you in the wasteland. Hey guys, Stag, Wolf and Stag Wastelanders. I just wanted to come out here and take a moment to talk to you guys while I'm out here in the wasteland and mention that we have a Patreon account. I'm sure you guys have seen me post about it plenty and seen myself and Wolf and all over social media. But we wanted to let you guys know that we have set up a Patreon account where you'll uh, be able to go over and see exclusive videos from us behind the scenes, um, things like that. Every bit helps us film and helps us create better and better videos as we go on. So, if you guys can find it in your hearts to go over there and become a Patreon, or a patron, we'd really appreciate it. Um, for $5 a month, you can get the basic entry package, and it goes all the way up to $100 a month, where you'll get to see exclusive behind-the-scenes videos. You guys will get to see plenty of what we do and how we're doing it out here. So, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, head over to Patreon. The link will be in the description below me. And it'll also be in the first pinned comment. If you don't feel like being a patriot or a patron, perhaps maybe you guys could consider just donating to us directly on PayPal. That link will be in the description below. Also, if you really like what you're seeing, go ahead and share out our videos, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon that should be somewhere down here, and you'll get notified whenever we do new videos. We're trying to make this a full-time thing guys and we can only do that with your help if you guys could share out our videos like subscribe tell your friends about us and even visit us on our social media we have 
We're at Wolfenstag Wastelanders over on Twitter. Um, and I probably butchered that. But we're also down on, we're also over on Parlor. So if you guys want to come out and talk to us directly, you feel free to do that. All of our social media will be posted down below. We also have a Facebook and an Instagram account. So if you guys could find it in your hearts to donate to us and help us continue this going, please visit the PayPal link below and the Patreon link below. Everything will be in the description and in the first pinned comment. So thank you guys again. And this has been Stag with Wolf and Stag Wastelanders. Be safe out in the wasteland.